Hey guys, James from Sticky Manufacturing. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step installation of our ISF drive shaft on this Lexus ISF behind me. The installation is going to be the same whether you're using our carbon fiber version or our aluminum version. Alright, so first step, we're going to get this exhaust out of the way and drop these heat shields out to get access to the drive shaft. Since we're not going to be reusing this factory rubber guibo, we're going to bolt this right from the transmission and get rid of this whole front end. All right, next step, we're going to get the center mount out. So we take these two 14 millimeter bolts. Be careful because the whole assembly will drop out. All right, now we're going to remove the drive shaft where it bolts to the diff flange. Same thing, we're taking this big rubber guibo off with it. As you can see, the factory is two-piece with this center bearing and these big floppy rubber joints, which we replace with these 6061 build aluminum CNC adapters that adapt these 1350 joints to fit the factory Lexus flange. During installation, it's important to make sure you realign these index marks as this is how the drive shaft assembly was balanced. If you put it back without one of these lined up, there's a good possibility it's gonna vibrate when it's in your car. As you can see, it's gonna come pre-assembled from Siki with this adapter plate on it. So we do need to remove this adapter plate and bolt it to the differential flange. Take the adapter plate and slide it onto the diff flange using the supplied hardware. Evenly tighten the adapter to the diff flange. Next, remove the front CV adapter flange, so we'll be bolting that to the transmission output flange. As you can see, the pin's sticking out of the transmission flange, so this actually sticks out a little too far. You're gonna to need to trim it out. You can see when you put this on, it sticks out here. You wanna get it down pretty close to flush with this bottom of this plate, so it's, it's about a half an inch we're gonna trim off of there. All right, so now we got that adapter plate on. We're gonna swing the front end up and start a couple of the bolts. Make sure you line these uh, index marks to make sure that the balance ends up being the same as it was. Just get a couple of them started finger tight and then go around and get them all installed. Now before we torque all these in, we're going to go back and install the bolts on the rear side and then come back and torque everything. Right, so you're going to lift it up, get it in position and you actually pull on it and it'll extend out and meet up with the surface. And then start the hardware and snug it all up finger tight and then come back and torque it.
Now they got everything tight, it helps to put it back in gear so you can torque these down and it won't spin on you. I like to get it all snugged up front and back before I lock it in gear and then I'm gonna come back and tighten them up. All right, so now we got everything torqued down. We're gonna go ahead and put the heat shields back on and just reverse everything you did in the beginning. And that's pretty much a wrap for this install. So, pretty easy. I'd call it like a three out of 10 difficulty wise, um, but pretty basic stuff. All right, so that's a wrap on the install. Pretty basic. To learn more about the ISF drive shafts we offer, log on to siggy.com or get in touch with one of our nodule sales reps today.